Welcome to Deerhaven Generating Station. This is Gainesville Regional Utilities' largest energy generating source, providing electricity to the city and surrounding areas. Located on more than 3,400 acres, Deerhaven is home to beautiful forests, migratory birds, deer, and other wildlife. But here at the heart of the property stands a state-of-the-art, environmentally mindful workhorse. So I'm sure you're wondering what this place is all about, how everything works, and just exactly how we make electricity. So let's get started. Here at Deerhaven, we have a variety of ways of producing power, helping to provide a more reliable source of electricity. What we call Unit 1 generates 81 megawatts of power and can run on natural gas or oil. Unit 1 plays an important part here by providing extra support to our main power generator, Unit 2. Don't let its name fool you. Unit 2 is our number one power source. It runs on coal and can provide 248 megawatts of power. And if 329 million watts of power isn't enough for you, we have three natural gas-powered units. One generates 80 megawatts. The other two are smaller standby units, on hand just in case everyone decided to go a little overboard on the holiday decorations. Add it all up and you get 449 megawatts of power. Having this kind of flexibility is a good thing. So now that you know what we can do, let me show you how we do it while meeting or surpassing rigorous environmental standards. Let's begin, say, 360 million years ago. To really understand just how Unit 2 generates its power, we have to start here, with the largest power plant in our solar system, the sun. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, so 360 million years ago, just like today, the sun's energy shined down on the Earth and was collected by millions and millions of plants and trees in dense swamps through a process we all know as photosynthesis. Over time, plants grew, died, and accumulated into decayed vegetation called peat. Huh? No, not that peat. P-E-A-T. Peat. Uh. Looks like this. If peat becomes trapped by mud and rocks preventing natural decay, and if it's then pressurized by layers and layers of earth, pushing it deeper and deeper underground, in a couple of million years or so, peat will become this, coal. This, believe it or not, still has some of that energy that it got from the sun some 300 or so million years ago. So why is coal important to GRU? Coal is the most abundant natural energy resource. It doesn't have as much of a tendency to fluctuate in price as gas and oil. Plus, it has saved customers money. And we're not talking chump change. From 1995 to 2008, using coal instead of natural gas saved customers a whopping $648 million. Those savings are even greater over Unit 2's lifetime. So let's show you how we use this fuel source. It begins with train cars delivering enough coal to power our community, as well as making sure we have some extra on hand, just in case. Back in the day, really all you had to do was just start shoveling heaps of it straight into the fire. But it takes a combination of the right science, technology, and people to use this valuable resource responsibly. We strive to get as much as we can out of every ounce, making sure the energy is not only cost-effective, but safe and clean for our community and our environment. So first we have to crush the material to make it burn faster and hotter. And that's exactly what's happening inside here. This contraption is appropriately called the Crusher House. It crushes, grinds, then sorts the coal. The smaller pieces move on to the pulverizer. The pulverizer continues to break it down until it's a fine powder. It's then blown directly into the fire, or what we call the boiler. The boiler is exactly what it sounds like. We need to make steam to power the turbines farther down the line, and this boiler, at a blistering 2400 degrees Fahrenheit, has no problem making steam. In fact, it can churn out 1.7 million pounds of steam per hour. And let me tell you, it gets hot. The boiler heats steel tubes filled with water. The water turns to steam, creating roughly 2,000 pounds of pressurized steam per square inch. This high-pressure steam is piped to the turbine, which is basically a really large fan, and causes it to spin. The steam rotates the turbine and the electric generator connected to it by delivering a staggering 315,000 horsepower. 
That's the equivalent of more than 900 1969 Ford Mustangs. America's favorite sports car. This generator is made up of a large electric magnet that spins inside a coil of copper conductors. As it rotates, the magnetic field pushes electrons through the coil to create a current which is measured in amps. The force at which those electrons are pushed through the coil is called the voltage. Multiply the voltage times the current and you get power measured in watts. Now let's recap the process. Radiant energy became fuel energy, which we transformed into heat energy in the boiler. That became mechanical energy with a spinning turbine, then electrical energy in the generator. Finally, electricity. Yeah! You betcha. Electricity travels out of the power stations through large power lines to smaller substations within the community. There, the voltage is reduced and distributed to customers. End of the story, right? Well, not exactly. Let's go back to find out what happened to that coal after it was burned. When burned, it leaves behind ash. And then there's the little matter of the boiler fumes, or what we call flue gas. Flue gas is a mixture of hot air and other byproducts like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxides. Thankfully, we run a tight ship around here and we don't let those gases go free. No, sir. Thanks to a substantial investment in leading-edge air quality control upgrades, GRU has greatly reduced emissions. We meet or surpass state and federal air quality standards, and we're very proud of this progress. Let me show you how it works. First, the light ash floats around, so it's a little tricky to catch. It's removed with the help of an electrostatic precipitator that attracts the ash like a magnet. Then, we make sure to recycle 100% of the light ash. You know it makes a great bonding agent when mixed with cement. Now, the heavy ash falls and is collected in a hopper. No, not this hopper. An ash hopper. It's kind of like a big garbage bag. Next step is the selective catalytic reactor. Huh? Big word, sounds high-tech, but really it's just basic chemistry. We want to neutralize nitrogen oxides from the flue gases. So we combine the flue gases with ammonia, a compound made up of nitrogen and hydrogen. Take two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen and voila, H2O. Water is formed along with harmless nitrogen. This process eliminates at least 90% of the nitrogen oxides from the flue gases. So now we need to lose the sulfur dioxide. That's when something called the dry scrubber comes into play. The scrubber mixes hydrated lime with the remaining flue gases. This chemically bonds the sulfur dioxide, making calcium sulfate a stable and safe compound. This process removes 85% or more of the sulfur dioxide. It's not magic, just good chemistry. In the final stages, the air gets filtered through the bag house, a big filtration device made up of almost 10,000 bags kind of like one gigantic vacuum cleaner. It removes virtually all the dust, lime, and other particles. Then the remaining hot air leaves through the stack. All of these air quality controls allow us to not only clean up the air, but to burn a wider variety of coal. This helps us when we negotiate fuel prices to try to save customers money. We not only obsess about flue gases, we're really conscientious about our water too. We clean and recirculate all the water we use here at Deerhaven. That means we don't discharge any water. GRU is always looking for new ways to meet our community's future energy needs. That's why we're investing in local, renewable energy sources such as solar, landfill gas, and biomass from wood waste materials. But don't worry, GRU will make sure that wood comes from suppliers following strict standards to protect the forests. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, and speaking of forests, we take pride in our property here at Deerhaven. We maintain and promote good forestry techniques and have been nationally recognized for our level of stewardship. Thanks for wanting to learn more about Deerhaven and see just how GRU does things around here. We'll continue to provide safe, reliable, competitively priced electricity in an environmentally responsible manner to you and our community.